Hello everyone, my name is Victoria White and I'd like to welcome you to the world of Excel for Beginners. Not only am I the creator, but I will also be your instructor throughout this course. Excel is used to display data in various ways. It is one of the most common spreadsheets known in the world. Learning even just the basics can help you advance in your career as well as your day-to-day -day lifestyle by organizing yourself. In this course, I will be teaching you everything from how to enter simple data, to inserting tables, pictures, and much more, to how to enter formulas, simple and more complicated ones, and even more data of importance. Please be sure to look out for my other courses that will be coming out in the new year, and also rate and review my course, as it will be greatly appreciated. Thank you, and enjoy! In this video, I will be going over the quick access toolbar as well as the status bar. Now the reason why I choose to focus on these two is because these will help you later on in your course. So basically the quick access toolbar is a shortcuts bar and it's right at the top here. So going over to the left side, you see that I already have the save button, which is usually a default that Microsoft puts in for you. You also have the undo button as well as the redo button. Now it's not highlighted or enabled because I haven't done anything yet to be able to redo something. Now if you see here we have this little drop down menu and here you have all sorts of other shortcuts that you can do. So you can add a new shortcut, an open shortcut, quick print, email, spelling, and much more. Now I always advise to enable spelling because you want to be able to spell check your work throughout your your time building it. So as soon as you see the little red squiggly line underneath your word and you know that it's incorrectly spelled, it's always good to do it right away or simply just right click and choose your options from there. Now the quick access toolbar basically acts as the file tab if you'd like it to. So again, if you want the new, you can always do that or you can add open as well. It's up to you what you need as a shortcut. So I print all my stuff at home. So maybe I'd like the quick print as well. So that will be there. Now if you go to the bottom, just below the sections here, you also have another bar here and if you right click on it you'll see it says customize status bar now again this acts as a reference for you in other programs such as powerpoint and even word it acts more as a reference for you than this one this one is just simply page numbers and simple stuff that doesn't really have any have anything to do with what you need here but if you go to the right side you have the shortcut to for viewing so instead of going to the view tab and clicking on how you want to view your document you can always just click on these and it'll change and you also have the zoom button so you can zoom in as much as you need to or as little as you need to again this is all up to you Excel is very different compared to other programs so you have to adjust it to your likings stay tuned next as next we'll be looking at the sheet sections in this video, I will be going over each of the tabs here in Excel. Now, it's always good to look at these tabs and notice what's in each one. Now, usually in Microsoft programs, some of them are very similar, such as the Home tab or the Insert tab. But it's always good to look over these as well. So, starting with File, which is the only different tab within any Microsoft program, you have your 
properties your related dates so when you last modified it created it and printed it in new you have the option to add a new workbook or open an existing default one that they have set up here in open you're able to open any existing files that are on your USB key or your PC itself in save and save as you're able to save your document so in save it'll automatically just save it just like that in save as you're able to add a different name to it if you need to in print you'll be able to have a print preview here on the right side and you have all your options for printing on the left to adjust how much you need it to be and as well you have your page numbers at the bottom in share you're able to share it to the cloud or email it directly from excel itself in export you're able to export your file as a pdf just like i have done for you in order for you to follow along with me i had to export it into a pdf in publish you're able to pu publish it to different websites and in close this will be able to close the document for you but we don't need to do that so clicking on the back arrow as you see we are back in our document and starting with the home tab here again it's very similar to Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or any other Microsoft program you have your copy and paste functions you have your font and alignment for your text but here is where it gets a bit different you have your numbers so Excel is mostly used for people who use it for their finances so you have your different currencies so you have Canada United States you have your euros you have your Chinese and you can always access more if you need to you have your percentage and much more here in styles you're able to add different color styles if you need something to stand out in a different way you can insert and delete cells and much more and in insert just like in word and powerpoint again you're able to insert tables pictures shapes even smart art and of course charts here you have your charts option a bit bigger because again this is more used for finance or <coughs> in a business so you have all your options laid out for you and again it has much more including links and text so this is word art and header and footers as well in page layout this is your page layout as to how you want to print it as well but here you're also able to control the themes so in PowerPoint you have these similar themes as well and when you click on one it will actually change the color scheme here so if you go to anything within colors so if we go to here you see the theme colors here you're also able to change the orientation so portrait or landscape add page breaks as well as adjust the height and width and much more here in formulas it's more of a complex tab so I will be going more in depth with it on its own but just a general overview here we have the option to insert a function so anything with like dollars or even how to add and you have other options too so if you need a true or false statement you have that as well you have date and times and much more here which again I'll be going more in depth with in this course here in data you're able to pull data from online directly to Excel itself and in review just like in any other Microsoft program you have the option to do spell check and use a thesaurus directly on Excel itself 
and view again you're able to view it in different ways that they have defaulted for you and you can always customize your own as well as adding your rulers which are here at the top your grid lines which you can erase or put back on your formula bar or your headings stay tuned next as next we will be going over the quick access tab as well as your status bar in this video I'll be going over the general areas of Excel as soon as you open it so starting from the top here we have these cells so as you can see you're able to enter any cell number you want so say if we need to go all the way to cell 2000 we can go all the way to A2000 and it will take you straight down so let's go back up to A2 and as you see it takes you just about anywhere you need to now Excel itself has 1,048,576 rows and about 16,384 columns. So it's a very big spreadsheet and you're able to do a lot with it. And again you just have to type in your location if you need to and I'll take you straight there. Now as you see here we have our formula bar. Now this can be used to enter your data if you need to so if I have something that I already have copied I can just paste it here or I can cut it or I can just type my text in. Now again if you want to just go in here and type your text you can type it there or again you can type it right in here if you need to. Now going down towards the bottom you have different sections. Now I already have mine laid out here for you. I have the first part in which I'm talking about, so the getting started. After that will be the inserting options, working with new formulas, and then we'll be doing cell reference. So this is just a good way to organize your documents all in one whole document. So instead of having different workbooks in different documents so you only have one you're you have the option to add more than one so you can just keep adding them and as you see I have mine's colored so all you have to do is right click it and hover over tab color and choose your color now here you also have the option to delete you have the option to insert and much more or you can even hide it and just like that you can bring it back Stay tuned next as next we'll be looking how to enter data. So such as changing fonts, color, size, and adjusting your cell as well.